The Sailor Shikiori Vega is a limited edition version of the Pro Gear Slim model. Shikiori refers to the four seasons and Vega refers to the late summer months when Vega and Altair come close to each other in the night sky. And this dark blue resin with little sparkles really captures the celestial aspect of this name. The pen overall is quite small in the hand. It's close to a pocket pen size. The finials are both flat. The bottom is blank and the top has that nice anchor logo for Sailor. The top finial is separated from the cap with a single gold band. The clip is stiff, but functional. And then as we work our way down the cap, we have a single gold band followed by a thicker gold band, which reads Sailor Japan founded 1911. Below this thick cap band, we have a small bit of exposed plastic that goes to a step down to the barrel. The cap comes off in one, about one and three quarters turn to reveal a nice 14 karat gold nib. The nib is on the small side, close to a number five. It has scroll work on the outside, the anchor logo in the middle, 14K585, denoting the gold content. And I picked this one up in a medium size. The back of the nib has your typical plastic feed. The section tapers down and then has a flare out towards the nib. At the bottom of the section, we have another gold band followed by threads that are smooth to the touch and then two step ups to the barrel. The barrel then tapers down to another gold band followed by the end finial. In the hand, the pen is on the small side. It's manageable for quick notes, but for longer writing sessions, you're gonna to wanna to post it. And luckily, the cap does post deeply and securely and makes for a well-balanced pen. In terms of size comparisons, here we have the Sailor, a typical G2 rollerball pen, and your standard Sharpie. To disassemble the Shikiori Vega, cap unscrews, section unscrews from the barrel. Now I noted during the unboxing that I was a little disappointed this pen did not come with a converter. Luckily you can pick up one pretty easily on the aftermarket. I got this one for about 10 US dollars. Converter pulls right out. If you want to do further cleaning, the nib and feed pull straight out of this section. And then to disassemble this converter, unscrew from the metal collar. The body comes off, followed by the collar, piston knob, and another collar, and the piston itself. At this point, the pen's fully disassembled. To reassemble, we'll start with the converter body. I'll put the piston in through the back, followed by the collar. Make sure the collar, the small end is pointing towards the front of the piston. Then we'll do the piston knob, which screws in to place. And lastly, the sleeve. And that just screws on top of that. Then we're gonna take our nib and feed the nib lines up nicely on the feed. There's a small notch to keep it in place. And the section gets pushed into that assembly. We'll reattach the converter. Screw on the barrel. And lastly, the cap. And now we're ready to ink up. Inking up the sailor, I'm gonna Unscrew the cap, unscrew the back barrel, make sure the converter is all the way down. I've selected for this one, there we go. I've selected for this one, the uh, Yamadori, which is a kind of a teal, a dark teal. It's a sailor ink. Go ahead and submerge the nib into the ink and then screw the back of the piston knob to draw up some ink. 
as always, to help get a full fill. I'll extend the piston one more time and then draw back up. Nice. I'll wipe off the excess ink. Put the barrel back on. Fall by the cap. We're ready to write. Okay, writing with the Sailor Shikiori Vega edition. And here we have a 14 karat gold medium nib. I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera, but this nib actually is quite toothy, we'll say. And it is surprisingly thin for a medium. I would actually consider this closer to maybe a Eastern fine or a Western extra fine. Let's take a look and see if we have any line variation. Mm, if you push it, you get a little bit, but there's not much at all. It's a very stiff nib, especially for a gold nib. And for reverse writing, It's dry and scratchy, and um, the nib does run out of ink as you get towards the end of that word. So what do I think of the Sailor Shikiori Vega Edition? I was sold by the finish of this pen. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. That deep blue with the sparkles, it really emulates the namesake of this pen. The pen is extremely comfortable in the hand. It's good for quick notes, but you can also deeply post it and um, be able to write easily for long writing sessions. However, my biggest issue with this pen is, unfortunately, its nib. I find this nib to be lackluster and a little bit of a letdown. Um, not only is it very stiff with no bounce, but I feel like it's a bit too thin to be considered a medium. And unfortunately, my version, yours might vary, but mine is quite scratchy. So that is a little bit of a letdown for me. But that just leaves me to say, thank you for watching.